want to know why? Wait a minute, we're trying to find the off button so I can turn this damn thing off when we're finished. All right, prepare yourself. Are you ready? You want to know why? Ask how Howard the Humongous. Approximately one month and three days ago, Joel Ackenbach in the Washington Post came out with one of the most gorgeously art-directed stories you have ever seen in your life. It was about NASA's future. It was about your future and mine in space. And the bottom line was this. We all want to go to Mars. We all know that's the next place for humans to be. We all know that's the next spectacular achievement. But NASA, which is America's only hope for getting to Mars, doesn't have the budget and doesn't have the technology. Now, you may remember that about seven years ago, Buzz Aldrin, the astronaut, some people from NASA, some people from the National Science Foundation, a whole bunch of space people, yanked me, pulled me, kicking and screaming into something that actually I'd been in love with since I was a little kid, the space movement. And they got me to found the Space Development Steering Committee, which includes Buzz, Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man on the moon, people from the National Science Foundation, NASA, the National Space Society, and the Department of Defense. And about three days after Joel Ackenbach came out with his article in the Washington Post saying that we simply didn't have what it takes, we didn't have the right stuff to get to Mars, my little group worked out something very simple. There's a guy named Elon Musk out on the West Coast. He was a founder and one of the guys who built PayPal. He took his PayPal money and put it into two companies, SpaceX and Tesla Motors. SpaceX has a new rocket coming off. Up. It's called the Falcon Heavy. It can take whomping big cargoes into space. And Elon, on his website, the SpaceX website, has posted what it will cost you, you, to get your very own cargo into orbit around Mars. It will cost you a mere $135 million for roughly, and I forget the exact figure, 21 tons. 21 tons to Mars. Congratulations. That pocket change that you've been nursing, that spare $135 million will get you something you never expected in your life. So my little group worked out a program. There's another guy named Bob Bigelow. Bob Bigelow made his money establishing and building the quality hotel chain. And about seven years ago, Bob Bigelow bought an old technology from NASA, a technology that NASA had put on the shelf, a technology that NASA had developed and thrown away, a technology for, guess what, inflatable habitats like balloons. <sighs> Blow them up, and you can put people in them. And Bob Bigelow began to develop inflatable, blow up, you know, take it into space, all packed up, then inflate it, hotels, space, habitats. And my little group, with one guy from NASA Ames, um, and another guy who's a second generation space person, who's on the board of the National Space Society, worked out something simple. Instead of using military space industrial complex forms of procurement, you know, $7,000 toilet seat forms of procurement, instead of putting our money into something that three senators, Mikulski, Shelby, and Nelson, are pushing the biggest piece of pork in space, the space launch system, a rocket too expensive to fly, a rocket that will go nowhere, instead of putting those things up, Buy things from private industry off the shelf. Buy your launches from Elon Musk with his Falcon Heavy. Buy your habitats from Bob Bigelow. Try that, and what can you do with Mars, the place that the Washington Post says we don't have the technology or the budget to achieve? Well, 
With the same amount of money that we're spending on the rockets in nowhere, the space launch system, known derogatorily, and the Space Development Steering Committee as the senatorial launch system, the rocket to nowhere, for the same price as the rocket to nowhere and its capsule, the Orion, you can buy yourself a follow-up. You can buy yourself a permanent space station in orbit around Mars. That's a Bigelow habitat floating around outside the Martian atmosphere. You can buy yourself several permanent habitats on the Martian surface. Yes, places where humans can actually live. You can buy yourself a tiny factory that pumps water out from beneath the Martian crust and turns it into oxygen you can breathe, water you can drink, and most of all, rocket fuel. And you can buy enough launches to launch a minimum of 28 people to Mars and then bring them back again. In other words, you can do more than put boots and footprints on Mars. You can begin to inhabit the place. And you can do it for less than the cost that NASA has already been forced against its will to commit to the senatorial launch system, that's the space launch system, the rocket to network, and the Orion capsule, which we're already committed to. Is the Washington Post right that we can't get to Mars, that we don't have the technology and the budget? No, we've got the budget. We've committed it already. We've just committed it to the wrong thing. This is Howard Humongous, speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make